Yo, what's good? It's your boy St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com. I want to show you a way that you can stack and layer your sounds, plugins, whatever, inside a machine and actually play them from your keyboard. Because with pad linking, when you link them from the pads, you can only play it from the pads. You can't play it from the keys. So, I know a lot of people always wonder how do you stack your sounds you know similar to how you stack them in core um, I know for me I use core as a way to stack sounds quickly so I want to show you a similar workflow inside a machine I also use this inside a contact as well so it's a similar workflow but I want to show you how to do it and a way that you can play from your keys and not have to do the pad linking thing so basically I got two sounds I got alchemy loaded up And I got these strings loaded up on the other, so I got that, and then I don't know what I want to, maybe something like this. Say so I want to mix that with this. Like I said, if I do pad linking, I could trigger it from the keys and do keyboard mode, but you know, you don't, I mean, you, if you stack an instrument, you kind of want to use your keys, so this is for those of you that want to do that. It's really simple. Go to sound MIDI settings. So right click on the sound. Go to sound MIDI settings. Enable. And then give it a MIDI channel. I suggest you give it something other than MIDI channel 1. I leave MIDI channel 1 for everything else inside a machine. So if you leave it on MIDI channel 1, it's going to trigger anytime you hit your keyboard. And you don't want that. So I say, I mean, I put it on like 6 or 7. So let's just do 7. So we'll say 7. I usually leave all this stuff the same. I mean, you know, default for the low and high notes and the root note. I'll go to this one. Do the same thing. Sound MIDI settings. Put it on MIDI channel 7. So now they're on the same channel. Now, the important part is you want to make sure you put your MIDI controller on whatever channel you set your layered sounds to. You can also do this inside of your DAW. Um, if you want to use it, use machine as a plug-in chainer out of your DAW, it works the same exact way. And or you can use this if you want to trigger machine from your external sequence. Maybe you're using an MPC or something else, and you want to use it as a, a plug-in rack or something like that. This is how you would do it. So just tell it which MIDI channel to respond to. I'm gonna change my MIDI controller to channel seven. And now. So both of them you can hear and you can see my lights you can see my lights here so you can see both of my pads are responding to this MIDI that's coming in so it's, now I have my layered sound I can actually play it if I wanted to I could go in on the group and you know add some plugins add some effects different stuff like that so it's just it's really up to you of course you can save the group if you want to save it as a sound but the main thing is now you can actually play your layered sound from the keys which is what I mainly wanted to show you so this is how you get around the pad link issue and if you want to layer your sound stack them if you like to make those big sounds this is the way that you can actually layer it and yes it does record just so you can see um, let's just record some real quick So you see it actually does record even though I'm on MIDI channel 7 because that's what these sounds are responding to MIDI channel 7 and then you know I can take my MIDI controller off of channel 7 to go back in and you know go to other groups and do whatever I want so anytime I want to do this I put it on MIDI channel 7 like I said I mean, you could label it you know if you want to so you know what channel it is it's up to you but this the main thing I wanted to show you is how to actually play your layered sounds inside a machine it's really quick a lot of people don't, don't realize it's that quick so just explore the, the sound MIDI settings like I said all you gotta do is enable it put it on the channel and now you can treat machine like a plug-in chainer a plug-in rack um, a sound module whatever you want to do inside of your DAW or standalone it works the same way 
Um, you just got to tell it which MIDI channel to respond to. It might even be a little bit, you know, easier inside of your DAW because you can leave everything on MIDI channel 1, but then, you know, tell a track to send on a different MIDI channel. You know how you can do it inside of your DAW, so you wouldn't have to worry about changing it on your controller. I might do another video just showing that, just to show the difference, but that's how you do it. So, once again, right-click, sound MIDI settings, enable, give it a channel, put your controller on that channel, and you can play it. I don't have it on that channel right now, so it's not playing. I'll go in, put it on channel 7. You still got control over all your plugin. You can still control it, control all the parameters, add effects to each different plugin. So you can add different effects to each layer, and you can still add effects on the group since they're in the same group. So let me know what you think. It's your boy St. Joe, Machine Tutorials. See y'all later. Peace.